The Rotten Tomatoes score for Jason Statham's The Beekeeper makes his other movies look like Nicolas Cage in The Wicker Man. Not the bees! Ah! Plus, it beats an 18-year record. The 2024 film is the latest attempt from Statham to create a successful action franchise, an endeavor which hasn't typically worked out well at the box office. Given his track record, director David Ayer's Rotten Tomatoes history, and an early January release date, The Beekeeper's Rotten Tomatoes score could have gone in various directions. But thankfully for Statham, the film earned mostly positive reviews from critics thanks to its throwback action movie nature resulting in a 71% fresh score. And audiences have enjoyed the movie even more, as a 94% score is where the movie sits at the time of writing. These two positive scores are a huge win for Statham's career. It's thanks to the critical and general response to The Beekeeper that the movie now holds a Jason Statham record on Rotten Tomatoes. Both the audience and critic scores are career bests for a Jason Statham franchise starter. He has headlined a number of first entries in future franchises, such as The Expanded and Meg. However, none of the other first installments in future or hopeful franchises can boast Rotten Tomato scores as good as The Beekeeper, allowing it to set new career highs for Jason Statham in this category. The Beekeeper's fresh Rotten Tomato scores helped Jason Statham break records that his earliest action franchises set. The Transporter had been his best audience score on Rotten Tomatoes for 22 years, while Crank was the best reviewed franchise starter of his career for 18 years. The Beekeeper now became becomes only the second time a Jason Statham action movie franchise has started with a movie that received fresh scores from audiences and critics alike. In doing so, the action star has set a new bar for any potential future franchise starters to try to live up to, not to mention the potential Beekeeper 2.